Hello and welcome to the beginning of another video. Um, this video is going to be um, a sheen haul that is going to be recorded um, over like a two week period because um, I've got a bunch of stuff coming from sheen but they're all coming at different times. Um, so yeah I'm not going to like say oh which like shipment it's come from I'm just going to record myself opening them and stuff. So the first things I bought Oh gosh, if I can get them out, are uh, these here, um, and I bought four of them in total. Um, they're really, really nice. So if I put it this way, you can see how big they are. And basically, they are um, tip books. So you know, like how we use swatch sticks and to put the swatches on. Um, I don't have any here made up, so I put them away. But um, to show my clients like the different colours and stuff I got I saw these and I thought it would be really really cool because it's magnetic but you open them up and it's really really nice as you can see and it is all numbered um, and I only paid about £5.50 per one of these um, and it's very very nice the only thing I didn't care much for um, was on the fact on the ad it said that it came with 120 tips because there's 120 slots for you to paint and put in now with any of them I didn't get any tips whatsoever which was a big disappointment um, so I went rooting around in the stuff that I've got and I don't know how well you can see it there um, but I've actually got a tip in there so I buy my swatch sticks in bulk like this I buy 300 of them at a time because you'd be surprised how many I go through um, and for 300 it was only seven pound now these are um more on the fragile side which is fine because this tip bit here where it curves breaks away from this stem really really easy so you have this and this as long as you get the um the swatch sticks that have like the flat edge not the stiletto um they actually as you can see they fit in there oh try not to snap it in half when you're putting it in um but yeah they you break it off like that and then it just clips in like that and that's how you can fill up uh, these books and that's what I'm going to be doing with these so if this is something that you like um, and you're on sheen even if it says it comes with tips expect it not to but just use the swatch sticks um, just like uh, I did them so I got a bunch of them um, the next thing I got was this um, a decoration to go on my wall now um, I am going to have to get a frame for it, which is perfectly fine. Oh gosh. So much plastic. Um, let's just chuck that down there. Um, but basically it is a canvas and it has uh, the six main shapes on. I can put that into a frame on my wall and clients can look at it and be like, oh, I want an oval or a square stiletto etc so really really nice and i think i only paid about two pounds for that and i'll pick up a frame from uh, the, the pound shop there's a pound shop in the uk called a poundland now the next thing i got um i saw these and i had a really cool idea for them so these are half cover tips um you can see like this really it has this 3d pattern on um and you're meant to you know attach it to your nail like that and then you can like cover it in acrylic um you know and paint it or whatever and it makes really you could do some really cool stuff if you use jelly polishes now i do have a bunch of jelly polishes come in um and i'm think i figured out a way to make these reusable so you can reuse them multiple times so keep an eye open for a video where um i show you my technique for uh, using these to make a really cool effect and making them reusable at the same time and they came in a nice box not a bag so the next thing i got was this and i don't know how good it will be because it's meant to be a sticker book to hold these stickers in but these sections here why is that not focusing come on mister um these sections here are not very wide and so not a lot of stickers i don't think are actually going to be able to fit in here or um, if you do have stickers you're going to have to um like bend them in half and stuff like that which isn't really ideal so i do have 
loads of stickers here which is why I bought it I got a big pile but see how like you know it then just not gonna fit in um, no even then ones ain't gonna fit in no the ones from Betsy ain't gonna fit um, I got some sheen ones no look see even these ain't gonna fit I do have some little itty bitty tiny ones oh they might fit these little itty bitty tiny sheets that I've got here um, but yeah the majority of them yeah just ain't gonna fit so I don't know what else I could use this book for uh, if you have any um, suggestions um, I, I would love to hear it because otherwise um, I'm just gonna get rid of this because it's it's not going to be any good let me just move all my stickers off to one side As you can see, I've got piles upon piles of them, which was why I bought it, because, yeah, trying to keep things tidy as best as I can. Um, so this I bought, and it was meant to be a pack of two, and only one came. And basically, they're just like little cuffs for you to put on your hands. So when you've done a set of nails, you can, like, pose the hands, and you've got some nice pretty cuffs for photos. Um... And it did say that it was a pack of two, but obviously only the one can, but it's nice, it is elasticated, so it can fit anyone. And it can still take nice photos, but because, you know, it's meant to be two, I would have liked to have received two. Um, no, that was, that stuff is, I need to figure this stuff out. So, oh, I need to stop yanking my camera about. That would be helpful. and we're back around so the next thing I got is this shield here so I do have masks um, I have a lot of masks um, I buy boxes of them at a time but I do wear glasses um, so my glasses do get steamed up and foggy after a while when I've been working um, on clients doing their nails so I just bought this and it's basically a face shield and it covers my entire face um, and I will wear this um, instead of a face mask and it will also protect my eyes from you know bits when I'm filing that might be flying out so I got that uh, the next thing I got <laughs> was this so I bought a what well, I it is silicone and it is a mat and I thought it would be a lot bigger than this like it was meant to be like a practice silicone mat for me to be um, practicing different stuff on um, but yeah, it's tiny. As you can see, even like these that like you meant to practice your acrylic on, you could just see compared to my real nail how tiny they are. So it's pretty much useless. So unless one of you guys wants it, I'm probably just going to throw it away. Um, if one of you guys wants it, um, let me know and I'll send it to you. Uh, the next thing I got was just these pretty little holographic bags um, because I do make uh, false nails for my daughter. And I just thought it'd be pretty. You could put each set inside the little bag for her and then you know she can just go through the little collection she's got and she can easily see like which ones that she wants to wear now the next thing I got are a load of number sheets um, if I can pull them all out so I got some black ones um, I only need two sets of each I got some pretty holographic silver ones and then I got a load of white ones because I can colour them in different colours and this is what I'm going to use in conjunction with them books. So on my shelves, I can look and I know which colour I need to be pulling out without having to look through, you know, go through a load of different bottles, trying to find a name or whatever. So that's what I'm going to be using them for. And then my, just my normal swatch sticks that I use is that I was saying about the books to not use these ones because they're actually too long you would have to like trim the tip off to make them fit um, now the next thing I got are these to try for when I'm removing clients acrylics I file off the worst of the bulk um, and then I have like a little half moon thing and they I put the acetone in and then they just hold their fingers in like this um, for it to soak off but I thought I'd try and give these um, a go. They're just little foil squares with padding on there that you put the acetone on. You can wrap it around the fingers. And, you know, because then the client isn't stuck with the hand like this for 10 minutes, waiting for the, you know, waiting for the rest of the acrylic to melt. 
uh, the next thing I got uh, was this. Now, I picked this up because I thought it would be really good to use with these. So these are caviar beads, and as you can see, they're absolutely tiny. And I've tried to do designs on nails where I'm like individually picking these up like one by one, trying to make a design on the nail, and it is very tedious. It is a very long process. And yes, the finished look looks fab, but as I said, it is very long, it is very tedious, and I saw this. And apparently it's meant to pick up a bunch of caveat beads and have them all in a line like this. So you can just go like, dunk, like that and lay it down on the nail. So let's see if it works. So I've just tipped some caveat beads out into here. So it definitely does pick them up. But as you can see, that has picked them up into a big, huge clump. So, you know, we, we don't want a clump of them. That is my dog going absolutely bonkers. So it's like... Now, I do have different size caviar beads here, um, which is probably going to make it a bit more awkward and that is my dog knocking stuff around um but yeah it just keeps picking up a clump of them like that which i suppose is fine because you can put a bunch of them on the nail then but um but then you can just move them around with the brush i guess um or let's put them in a line on my finger like this and see Okay, so that kind of, it did work until I knocked it out of the way. It holds a certain amount in a line. There we go. And you can put them on. So yes, it, you know, it does work. You just got to like perhaps put them in a line on your hand or something first and then pick them up. So yeah, I will have fun messing about with them. I'm probably going to get these all over the floor now. My, what's my puppy got? Oh, right, two seconds. My puppy has gone and got one of my blasted shoes. are not for chewing. You're lucky you're adorable. Right, so I am back. Um, so the next thing I got were these. I swear I bought three of them. I'm just looking for the stage one. Yeah, there it is. Um, so yeah, these are just practice fingers. Now I do have a full on practice hand where I can do a full set of nails. Um, but I was thinking of doing like some short, like little one nail designs uh, for Instagram and Facebook, etc. And so I saw these, it's very realistic looking. If I put it against my finger, yeah. Much sort of longer nail beds than me. You know, but size wise, it's, you know, it's a little bit off, but it's not too bad. You know, cause I'll sort of cut it off on the film there and so I'm holding it like this. And I can just do nice little short videos of single nail designs so yeah no i like this it's nice it's very bendable um yeah so very very nice very cute and i got three of them and then the last thing i got um because i don't have a lot of the stuff here but i have been collecting stuff to do nail stamping um and so i saw this um basically it's the like the sticky roller you can get on roller to get like your fluff off of clothes and stuff um but you know it's just like that and then when you've got your little stamp and it's got excess polish on and you can put it on here like that and it cleans off your stamp for you ready for the next usage so the next thing um i will be showing you will be in a couple of days when the next delivery arrives um yeah hello guys so we are just going to start back off um uh, from the rest of the stuff that came from the sheen hall the next thing we got uh, these little tiny um, like spiky grommets in black and in gold you will see quite a lot of black and quite a lot of gold um yeah we just got some nice black sequins oh gosh i got a big huge massive bag of stuff here um we have got some black, gold and silver little chain links. Um, 
and I got two sets of these because you only get one of each kind in a set so if I want to do matching hands you have to get two also in the black now, oh now here this is meant to be like um if I can open it like mirror um like gel that's meant to give like a mirror effect I do not have the nails to be opening this. So there we go. If I just put a little bit. Wow. Like look at that, that is proper silver mirror. Now I do like that very, very much. Right, let's get a bit of a wipe. Wipe that off. Now I do like that very much. Put that back in there. Keep it nice and tidy. Um, now the next thing I got um, is because I do um, publicly do nails. So Yes, I could make these, I suppose, but it saves me some work. But they're just business card size, it says aftercare nails, that I can give to my clients. Very nice. Um, and then I also got these loyalty cards. Uh, oh, if we can put one out. So that is what it looks like on the front. And I can stamp it, and then when they get to the sixth one, they get 50% off their next... Uh, you know, whatever it is that they want done. Now here, if I can find all of them, gosh, there's one, there's two, three. So these are kind of the same thing, um, but in different forms. So here, um, these are fiberglass nail fibers, and what you do is you can take them and you put them on the nail to make it's like a different way of making like a firm natural tip on the nail and so we got these little tiny like they're super 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 thin um then this is like the same thing but it is in cloth form so you can see there on the picture and then this oh if we can open it because my dog is going batshit crazy careful um it's like the same thing but in a paper format. So I thought it would be good to do a video where I compare the three different kinds that you can get and which one I think is better to do a natural looking nail extensions. So that is why I got them. Then the next thing I got are these. If you haven't seen these before, basically all they are are little caps that go on your drill to help protect your drill. So if I go and get my drill, Don't judge me, it hasn't been cleaned. So here's my drill. Basically, what these are for, if I can get all this blinking packaging off, is you take one of these. Um, now I should have bought more than one set personally, um, but basically all you do is on every single one of your drill bits here, you just push it on, me personally I push it up to the little line like that's got a red line on yeah because this is a red tip I push it up to that line so then basically you put this back in there and you leave a tiny bit of a gap yeah you don't want it on all the way like this because it'll cause friction so you just lift it up a little bit lock it in place and then when you are filing that stops the dust from getting inside here and clogging up and breaking your drill so yeah, that's what they are, although personally I should have um, bought more than one pack. Let's move my nail drum to the side. And four. Then keep on going because we've still got lots. So we have these little uh, padlocks and keys in gold and silver. 
my dog is still going crazy. Now these, um, I've actually bought for my daughter. So I make, oh, that's broken. I make um, press on nail sets for my daughter. So I just bought a big pack of the little mini glues and a big pack of nail files. And then in each set, I can put a glue and a nail file in for her. Ooh, now this, um, I believe is what I bought. So I don't break my drill when you, have clients that like lots of gems and rhinestones and stuff like that on their nails um i can use these to take them off and then i can drill off what is needs to be drilled off and i don't have to worry about damaging my nails now <laughs> this is a bit funny why i've got these so obviously you know i do my own nails um i do different lengths and my partner was saying how he really likes my long nails when i have long nails because they feel really nice um like when I mess with his hair or when I scratch his back. Now, what my partner means by really long nails um, are these. So just, yeah, personally, I call them standard size stilettos. Yeah, so he calls these my really long nails. So um, that to me is not really long. And these are actually really hard to come across because I'm in the UK, finding somewhere that will actually send it to the UK. But I came across these. Um, and I'm going to have, like, these are four cover. Um, these are already half cover. So I will have to make these into four cover tips. But I found these four XL stiletto tips. So when I put that, size zero is way too big for my nail, I know. But if I put it on there like that, that's what it ends up looking like. And I thought I'd turn them into make press-ons. Um, I know how to do that out of these. Um, yeah, and surprising. One night when he gets home from work with these ridiculously long nails i thought it would be a bit of fun if you would like to see a video of me turning these into press-ons and decorating them um yeah let me know and i will make a video of that because the reason i got like all the black and gold and silver gems and stuff is because my partner really likes the punk and goth look on me oh let's put them away so um, now I bought these because I have bought a load, and I mean a load, of cat eye gels. Um, uh, that they will be in a separate video um, because I just bought so many of them. And I do have some magnets here that I had free, like in kits and stuff. And I saw these and they're, they're meant to be really strong. Oh dear God, yes. So, oh, wow. So these are tiny. I was expecting them to be bigger, but they are really, whoo, they are really strong. So... Yeah, really, really strong. Four different kinds. Um, oh, can I get it back in my, my little packaging? And then I do have another magnet, and I'm looking at it now, and I kind of thought wrong. So here it is. Now, when I saw it in the picture, I thought that this the whole thing, this was one big, huge, massive, giant magnet, but I don't think it is. I just think it's a magnet on either end. Because if I do this, it's not sticking. But then if I do that, it does. So, yeah, I, I don't know how strong this magnet is. Like I said, I thought the whole thing was a magnet, so it would be like a super duper strong magnet. So, yeah, so if you see this, um, it is just a magnet on each end and hollow in the centre. Bear with me, guys. I've still got lots more. So, I did try to buy a bunch of things that I could make videos from. So, I don't have any of this stuff. I've never used it. But I bought an entire pack of 4D UV gel. So this is the gel that you can like mould between your fingers to make like miniature flowers and all that kind of stuff. So I bought an entire pack of them. And I can make a video out of using them. The next thing I got are these giant pots of fluorescent powders. Um, although they put colours in that are very similar, like them two pinks are very similar. And them two colours are very similar, but you know, we could take out like them too and it would still be okay. But yeah, a giant pot of fluorescent glitters, and we can have lots of fun with that. Because I also want to try and make some neon acrylic. And the next thing I got is an entire kit of spider gel, which I also don't have any of, um, never used before. Um, but yeah, I bought an entire kit of it. So yeah, you know, can have uh, lots of fun. So where it looks like there's two whites, there's not, I believe one is white and one is silver. But 
yep really nice so we've got like yellow and orange and i believe that one is meant to be the gold oh i right i bought this because now i have loads of nail cutters it's not like i don't have nail cutters i do but it, this one came with this thing here which i thought was really cool that you clip it on and then when you are snipping the nails the bits you cut off go in here so they're not flying absolutely everywhere when you're trimming the length down which i thought was really really cool and then this i believe you can change for like how long the customer wants their nails somehow not sure how you put it on but like that and you can turn it for you know and you can see how long they want it for so i just i just thought it was really cool i liked it so yeah so we have that we're almost getting there now we have got this is adhesive glue um because i've been putting my gems on just with like normal base coat or top coat but this is actual a little pot of glue that's specifically made for that so hopefully that will make my job a lot easier now here i have got a ma Ooh, it's coming apart i have a massive box of nail art acrylic pens so it comes with all these colors Ooh. so yeah <laughs> there's there, there's a lot um yeah and i think some are like meant to be now i'm looking in here and it's like the paint is like either it's meant to be marbly or it's like because it's been like in storage a while it's just hasn't been mixed up properly but see where the color is like settled so they might need a good yeah a good shake before i use them but that's fine but yeah i've got them because there are also metallic ones in here so we've got silver uh, i believe that's the gold so yeah i think it would be lots and lots of fun to use and um, i've got basically every color imaginable so yeah i think it'll be lots of fun coming up with some cute nail ideas using all of these be careful they don't all fall out and then the last thing i've got um apart from all the gels uh, is this cuticle oil set i don't have anything sharp here to oh yes i do <laughs> i got these this is not what i bought these for but I'm just going to make a so we can peel it uh, because I go through a lot of cuticle oil um, and quite often I just give cuticle oil to my customers you know they're like well I wouldn't mind some of that and I kind of just give it to them so I go through piles of it so I saw this multi-pack there we go I'm trying to figure out how to get into it and yeah it comes with all of these cuticle oils um, and they are meant to all have like different scents so let's open up the green one Um, that's nice i'm not sure what it's meant to smell of but it smells nice i should have picked up the paperwork that's probably lavender oh that's um a lot more sweeter let's try this one because this one is probably lavender yeah that's lavender so yeah so six four bottles of cuticle oil so that should last me um a while and um, that is everything that i have got in my sheen nail haul apart from um all the gels which i'll put into a separate video because when i say i bought a lot of gels i bought like 50 um so i'm gonna have to swatch them all and then so that will be in a separate video but yeah i really hope you like this video and seeing everything that i got uh, from sheen and yeah i hope to see you all in another video guys bye